You know, I've been a charter guide for a lot of years. Many people don't know that, but uh, I did a, a lot of kayak chartering uh, over the past 20 years. And one of the things that I like to do was to make huge loops, whether it was Fort DeSoto, Upper Bay, down near Teresia, uh, South Shore. I like these big loops of starting at one spot where I, I'm sure that I can at least have a chance at fish nearby and slowly making my way around and back. In that respect, I can cover a lot of area, a lot of different types of terrain. With the kayaks though, making those big loops that last maybe six to eight hours, you get a little uncomfortable at times. So this is where the roundabout comes in. The roundabout makes it easier on you physically when you're fishing to make those big loops that I like to do. So that by the end of the day, I'm not worn out, my back is hurting. Also, the roundabout lets you position in any different way you want in a fishing spot to get the best angle. And I think that makes a big difference. It's also drier. Uh, when we're out there and sometimes we hit some, some high winds or some chop, you stay pretty dry in those roundabouts. So there's a lot of advantages to it. And that's why I decided to do a lot of my chartering out of the roundabouts because it's, it's nice on me and it's nice on who I'm chartering for. And uh, we, we have a tendency to find more fish in that respect because we're up higher and we're able to position. I like to go by seasons uh, throughout the year. When it's cold, I go after sheep's head or the nighttime trout. It, it's a unique experience for those who haven't done it. Uh, and sheep's head, even though it's an underappreciated fish when you get into the big ones along the docks, and you can do that with the roundabouts uh, and position yourself where you need to be, uh, it's, it's a pretty good fishery. So throughout the, the year, there are different seasons that I'll cover, including uh, snook, of course, in the summertime, and hitting the redfish uh, outside of Tampa Bay and Ozello or around South Shore. I can see better when I stand up and it's very stable. I can see those schools and any kind of indication that there may be redfish in the area. The charters are on the roundabouts or adventures. I call them voyages. And it's more about the experience. Of course, we're going to catch fish or find fish, hopefully. But uh, it's a, the experience of that big loop uh, allows us to enjoy the adventure. If you would like to go on one of these voyages in the roundabout, then get a hold of me at angertowntv.com. You have two options. You can either go in your own boat, which is a single, and I'll be in mine and we'll go along together, or we can be in the same boat with a double, double seater. And believe me, it's very comfortable and I control everything while you fish. So again, anglertowntv.com, if you want to make one of those voyages around Tampa Bay, then I'm the man for it and the roundabout is your best bet.